Yeah, so let's keep on moving. And let's talk about a movie that uh, sounds like it might be interesting if it ever happens. And that is a Darth Maul solo film. Now, Ray Park, the actor who played Darth Maul in The Phantom Menace 1, or the Phantom Menace Star Wars one, I should say, was recently at the Star Wars celebration. They had a big event. A lot of th- news was coming out about everything. And he got up on one of the panels, and they were talking to him, asking him questions. And he said, yeah, I'd love to do a Darth Maul movie. So everything we're about to talk about is pure speculation. It's just because someone randomly said one thing. It's not that there's any plans or anything in there. It's just because it would be fun to talk about. Um, there's a little more credence to it, too. It was like I think um, Disney, Lucasfilm, whoever... I uh, already said that they were planning to make some solo films of particular characters. Like I think the one, the first one's going to be like Yoda, right? Um, is is pretty likely is is a Yoda one. So hmm, yeah, we'll th- there's precedent right now. There's there's plans for doing these solo films. For well, yeah, and 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 if you look at what they're going to be doing with the anthology of films, so what they're planning right now is to have a Star Wars movie come out every two years as a numbered movie so we'll have episode seven this december the next december they want to have an anthology film which will be rogue one uh, we found out a little more details about that but it's going to be about the rebels stealing the death star plans that's what it's going to be about and then you're going to have star wars eight the year after and then another anthology film and then star wars nine so we're going to see a star wars movie every year one is going to be an anthology film what they call it and one is going to be a main numbered one so this uh, it could be a very, very interesting anthology film. Because if you look at Darth Maul, the character, he was probably the only redeeming factor of Phantom Menace because he was so cool. I mean, he was awesome. He had the devil. Yeah, like Jin? yeah not as cool. Not not even half as cool. I like Liam Neeson. Don't get me wrong. I'm a, I'm a Liam Neeson fan. But I didn't... I mean, wasn't just to be fair, right like, Qui-Gon Jinn kind of causes everything if you really think about it yeah by taking on uh anakin so yeah they well and other things that he does too that are obviously you could have done something better like you know after they get back to all their money and wealth hey let's go send for for the guy's mother now yeah well yeah yeah then no (laughs) Qui-Gon was dead before they got back there that was obi-wan who messed up on that no i thought they got back they they went back and because they present uh Mm -hmm. Because uh, what's this? Uh, Anakin goes back and gets rejected um, by the council. Let's not let's not debate the worst movie of the of the series. Let's just say bad stuff happened in that movie because it was a bad movie. I if that's what you want to think. Oh, yeah, so that is what I want to think, and that is I think that's a popular opinion. But so Darth Maul has he's popped up in other other forms of Star Wars media, uh, mainly his role in Star Wars: The Clone Wars, which was an amazing TV show. If you haven't seen it, go see it. It is awesome. It's on Netflix, I believe. All the series, it's one of the most epic shows out there, uh, and it's in CGI, so it's pretty cool. And it's not a kid show. It's really not. It might be it might have been on Cartoon Network, but I don't see it as a kid show. Where he popped up, and Ray Parker kind of mentioned this. He said he would like to do a solo movie with Darth Maul, but he wants him to have longer horns and metal legs. And that was a direct... No, that's a direct uh, heart uh, call back to his um, Darth Maul in the the Clone Wars. Because Darth Maul gets found in a couple seasons in, like maybe the third season, and he, he gets found by another guy of his own kind. I can't remember what they're called, but he gets found and he kind of gets like metal legs attached to him because he's not dead. He was found in like a trash planet or something like that. And his horns had grown really long and he'd gone really crazy. But Darth Maul was an amazing character in that. I mean, he was evil, evil, evil. I mean, he emperor evil because, you know, he's an apprentice and they well, even have he was the apprentice the emperor and he had just gone through apparent what, what years of mm-hmm. living in a trash planet with yeah. no legs, with no That's- legs. Yeah, if you're already all that dark horse, I could see that uh, pushing you <laughs> yep. a little further. <laughs> yep, you're already you're already down, you're down going down that road. Um, and even in the show, he like takes over a planet at some point, and the only way they stop him is uh, I don't know if this is a spoiler because this show is like eight years old. Um, <laughs> but uh, spoiler alert: if you don't want to know about what happens to Darth Maul in the Clone Wars, the Emperor actually shows up, and he's like, "Oh, hey, you're back. I wanted to serve you more," and he's like, "No." No, you took on an apprentice. That means you're challenging me for Dark Lord of the Universe. Because if you don't know anything about the Sith, there's only ever two Sith around. There's the Dark Lord and the Apprentice. Once the Apprentice takes on an apprentice, then he challenges the Dark Lord. By that time, that's how it is. Anyway. Um, And so 
yeah, there's an epic battle between those two. So that was really cool. But a couple of things I was looking at, um, I would love to see this movie. I would also think it'd be cool to start with his training or maybe flash back to his training uh, where he is training under the Emperor because that's probably some grueling, brutal stuff right there. It'd probably a look at Star Wars we haven't quite seen, and it would be pretty interesting. Also tell some of the backstory of the Emperor because he's like the most evil of evil bad guys. I mean, Darth Vader, yeah, he was a great villain, don't get me wrong. But the Emperor was the, the evil puppet master behind it all. So that'd be cool. Well, the Emperor get... is the reason that Darth Vader was evil to begin with. That's so. true, too. And it'd be cool to see a little bit more of his backstory, what he's doing. Um, so that would be awesome. And then to show him maybe go on some missions for the Emperor, because we do see him show up in the first one in, in Phantom Menace. But you know he's done some evil stuff before that. And now he's got that double-edged lightsaber. That's just so cool. It is cool. That's like the so cool. best part about that a lot of things actually that about, about, about definitely about that's, that's yeah, that's the that makes part. Him so awesome in uh in the uh battlefront the game, game. The battle from- he was one of my favorite heroes i'm sorry chewbacca yeah well but, so but and then also to show him kind of and now in in the rebel in the uh clone wars tv show he does like i said he kind of takes over a planet i can't remember exactly how it's been a couple of years since i've seen that but he does take over a, a planet <laughs> um, with his apprentice and there's probably some epic jedi battles to be had there so i would definitely like to see this movie move forward again this is all just somebody randomly said a sentence and i'm running with it so i don't know let me know what you think uh what would you like to see darth maul do in a darth maul movie hit us up let us know comments down below of course at words my face on twitter google plus and facebook always good ways getting a hold of us